there are two types of traders in the market. On one hand, we have those who struggle to make money in trading, they keep on fighting with the market. And in the end, they either end up losing money or break even at best. On the other hand, we have those who trade with such ease and effortlessness, that their trade execution process will literally boggle the mind of an average trader. Money flows into their accounts with ease, they can virtually take money from the market at their will. In other words, they trade in the zone. They trade in the same market that the average trader does, they look at the same charts. So, what is it that makes these traders so different from an average trader? The answer comes down to the mindset. Mark Douglas says, the winners have attained a unique set of attitudes that allows them to remain disciplined, focused, and above all, confident in spite of adverse conditions. There are four unique attitudes that make winning traders different from an average trader, we will discuss them in detail in this video. Stay till the end, because in the end I will tell you a very simple and easy solution, which can fix all your trading mistakes and could fast forward your journey towards consistent profits. Risk Acceptance Risk is one word that gets thrown around a lot in the trading and investing business. But what does it really mean to accept risk? Trading is inherently risky, because the outcome of any given trade is probabilistic, not guaranteed. The problem arises when a trader tries to avoid something which is simply unavoidable. Accepting the risk means that you fully accept whatever the outcome of a trade will be, without any emotional discomfort. It means that you can enter a trade without a slightest bit of hesitation, and just as easily, acknowledge, if it's not working. It means that you can exit a trade, even if it involves a loss, without experiencing any emotional discomfort. To put it differently, the inherent risks of trading does not cause you to lose your discipline, focus, or self-confidence. If you cannot trade without experiencing any discomfort, especially fear, then you have not learned to embrace the inherent risks of trading. This is a significant issue, as the degree to which you do not accept the risk is the same extent to which you will try to avoid it. Avoiding something that cannot be avoided will have disastrous effects on your trading abilities. So how do we remain disciplined, focused and confident even in the face of constant uncertainty? Answer lies in the next step. Staying neutral. Typically, an average trader's understanding of the risk in a specific trading situation is determined by the results of their last two to three trades. In contrast, the most successful traders are not influenced, either negatively or positively, by the outcomes of their recent or several recent trades. If you have to win. If you can't lose or can't be wrong. You will cause yourself to define and perceive categories of market information as painful. When you perceive market information, which is inherently neutral as negative, fear and hesitation creeps in and causes you to make trading errors, because of which you end up creating the very experience that you are trying to avoid. This kind of negative attitude is similar to a tennis player or golfer who focuses on not making mistakes, the harder they try not to make mistakes, the more mistakes they end up making. The greater their focus on avoiding pain, the more they will create the very situations they are trying to avoid. In other words, the more they strive to win and avoid losing, the less tolerant they will be of any information suggesting they are not getting the desired results. Staying neutral happens naturally when we fully accept the risk of a trade because when we are okay, with any outcome we don't perceive market information as positive or negative. Market's Most Fundamental Characteristics There are unlimited variables operating in the market, at any given moment, which means that virtually anything can happen in the market at any time. The best traders believe without any shred of doubt that anything can happen. It is nearly impossible to predict what the market will do in the next moment. If we can't predict what the market will do, then how can we expect to make money in the market? The answer to this lies in the next step. Have an edge. Because human emotions in the market remain constant, certain patterns have a higher probability of repeating. Probability is an important word here. The probabilistic repetition of patterns is what makes money for you in the market. It could be in the form of price action, support resistance, trend lines, channels, candlestick patterns, moving averages, or any other indicator. It doesn't matter which edge or strategy you choose, what matters is that you have confidence in that edge. Because if you don't believe in your edge you won't stick to it, you will start doubting it after encountering few losing trades, and will eventually give up on that edge. If you keep doing this no strategy or edge will work for you. 
your confidence in your edge comes from backtesting and experience. I will be making a lot of videos on different edges and strategies that you can use to trade profitably in the market, so make sure to subscribe. Think in probabilities. The best traders don't expect every trade to work out. But they still take those trade because they don't know which one will work and which one won't. This is a skill that develops when you stop judging results of your trades on a trade by trade basis, instead judge results of a set of trades. It develops when you execute your edge religiously and not pick or choose trades. Ever wondered why does an average trader finds it so difficult to trade in the market, why does it he commit so many trading mistakes? There is one and only one reason behind all your trading mistakes. To find out what that reason is, and to learn a simple solution to fix all your trading mistakes, watch this video. This video will not only help you understand why you make those mistakes but also how to fix them. And if you want to learn more about edges and how to develop your edge in the market, subscribe to the channel, because, I will be making videos on different edges and strategies very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.